The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the May 30th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question, but you can't dial in, we've got your back. You can send me an email. Send it off to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tigers Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We start our day with a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. Dow's off 388 points, 1 percent. Half percent for the S&P or 25 points. Eight tenths for the Nasdaq 100, 157. Nine tenths to the upside for uh, the Russell 2000. Semis are down 45. Tranny's up 108. We've got a mixed bag. We've got gold that's straight up a buck sixty, twenty three forty two, while silver's down eighty cents. Light sweet crude is uh, off twenty uh, off thirty nine cents, and natural gas is back six pennies. The thirty year treasury up nearly one point, print out one fifteen fifteen. Now our leader to the clubs in our in the uh, to the upside in the clubhouse is micro strategy, about a forty two dollar move two and a half percent. Burlington stores nice move there thirty five bucks, seventeen percent. Icon PLC, 6%, uh, 19 bucks. Decker's Outdoor, 16 And Fittel Corporation up 14 That's an 84% move. Maybe that's a, I don't know what that is, but maybe that is a uh, IPO. Service now of $658. That is, I'm sorry, it's trading at $658. It's like, holy cow. It's down $72. It's still a big move. That's a 10% move. Salesforce is down 56 bucks. That's a 20% move. Broadcom down 28 bucks. That's a 2% move. Intuit down 28 bucks. Nearly 5%. CrowdStrike off 22 bucks. That's a 6% move. Adobe's down 21 bucks. We got a lot of shakers and we've got some movers. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. Why don't we start our day by taking a look at what's going on inside the ES mini. Let's go um, bisect and dissect these intraday time period charts for the equity futures. See what kind of pieces of information they can provide for you and I. So we begin with the uh, daily time frame. ES mini yesterday closed below the bottom of its profile. We're still below that today. That's signaling a profile change in trend. We take a look at the ES mini. 15.99 is its next daily price target. That's not where I'm saying price is going to go, but that is the downside price target inside of the ES mini. If we take a look at the five-hour time frame chart, now, each of the intraday time period charts form bottoms last evening. They started bottoming right around the 1 o'clock uh, time frame. There's different time frames, obviously, that are out here. But each of them have either buy the D-point patterns, TD nine-count patterns out there. So that's what it has formed. If we take a look at the five-hour time frame chart, here's a TD nine count pattern. Now, this is very important to watch today. Why? Because if we get a close below the bottom of that pattern, the bottom of that pattern is a low at 4 a.m. for it. That would be down at 52.50. It really didn't take place at 4 a.m. That was more like one something out there. 
Um, but nonetheless, if price closes below that level, then we're going to look at a move down towards the 52.16 area where price had broken out from. Now, in this rally that formed this morning, there was also a new profile that was forming at 9 a.m. And price ran right up into resistance at the bottom of that. That bottom of that profile is at 52.72.50 uh, out there. So that's a level to watch the upside. We are trading right now inside that uh, five-hour time frame uh, swing point that uh, was at 4 a.m. That level ranges from 52.50.50 up to 52. 52.60 and a quarter. So you need to close back about 52.60 and a quarter to have a test and rejection of that swing point. On the two hour time frame chart, same type of a pattern out there. It's really testing its swing point low as well. On the uh, two hour chart, the same thing. It's testing its buy the D point pattern. It has, though, at this stage here, rejected the uh, swing point. Uh, it, uh, and of course, this bar does not complete until 12 noon. But if at 12 noon price is trading above 52.58.50, that will have a test and rejection of a swing point. What has also acted as a resistance level has been the bottom of its profile. So we got the bottom of that two hour profile, 52.73 basically. 52.74 is the number on the 120 minute time frame chart. Those are the levels to be watching to the upside. To the downside, as I said, it's very easy. In fact, if we just take a look at the 10 minute time frame chart up here, we can find out the exact time right around 150 or something like that. TD9 count bottom four at 150 and actually completed at 2 a.m. And then the markets rallied from there. Why did the markets rally from there? Was it because of that? No, it's really because that spot politics, one day rate of change above plus 10%. We usually get an overnight rally. It typically starts around either when Asia comes on board or when Europe comes on board. Of course, today it was neither of those two. It was just, uh, but it did form. And we had all of the uh, intraday charts in essence doing the same thing. Now that rally is over. That's all that they want day rate of change above plus 10 percent offers us is that we should expect or anticipate a rally and what we've seen now what the market has given us is clear levels of where resistance is at and let's just call that the 5275 level out there if price closes above that we likely head higher um, so that's what's going on inside the ES Mini. Let's go to uh, how many days to the upside, downside. What are we doing as far as its stamp steps? It's all very normal out here. What do you mean normal, Stevie? Well, coming off of the uh, lows out here, the most recent lows from April, we saw three bar moves, two bar moves, four bar moves to the upside. Pretty typical. And then once we got up to the highs, what we saw was a first two bar move. This first two bar was May 22nd and May 23rd. Today looks like this will be the second two bar move to the downside. In bull market, Markets and real bull markets, that's typically all you get are two bars to the downside out there. So this is suggesting that we could see, even if we close lower on the day, you could see a bounce or rally just based upon its normal dance steps. That is, if it truly is in a, a continued bull market out there. We're still in the bull market, that's for sure. Um, when we take a look at weekly, monthly time frame charts out there. But right now, you and I were trying to analyze the uh, daily time frame and get a feel for its signals. Let's go take a look at the NQ because the NQ is stronger than the ES Mini, or at least it was. Um, probably still is. Let me just take a quick peek. And the ES Mini, at least, or the I'm sorry, the NQ uh, is trading with inside a profile. So on its daily time frame, this has supported either 18,508 or 18,548. 18,548 is the TD Nankel breakout level. 18,508 is the bottom of that profile. Um, we've got to wait for the uh, other charts here to populate. So it gives us our signals out there uh, so we can see what we've got. Now, in this case here, well, we'll be right back. We're going to a breakout here. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. 
But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So when we take a look at the charts here for the NQ, they look much worse than the ES Mini, much worse than the fact that uh, it has broken the uh, lows from 150 this morning, that little TD9 count pattern that formed on the 10-minute uh, time frame. However, it's done that, and at the same time, it's formed a new TD9 count bottom. So the real key level out here to be watching for the NQ, and we're just going to base this off the 10-minute chart as we speak right now, is that if you do see a 10-minute close below the TD9 count bottom, which is going to be... 18,645.50. 18,645.50. That's truly going to suggest that we had lower out there. Now, we know that we've broken through those levels of support. Let's go see what's going on on the other intraday charts. On the 15 minute time frame chart out here, I could see a possible A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. So if at 1130, it's 1119 right now, we get a bullish reversal candle, that would confirm a buy the D point. Uh, pattern out there. Let's go to the 30 minute chart. What do we have here? The 30 minute chart is testing its TD9 count bottom. Again, that low out there is at the 18,659, even Steven. Price closed on that last bar. Move this over. The actual closing on that last bar was 18,658.50. So it closed below that level. Nonetheless, uh, you need two consecutive bars below a level of support to tell you that it was something other than a one-hit wonder. And right now, uh, that's not what we've got going on. But we still have another 11 minutes left in this uh, candle session out here. But price is trying to get back above that TD9 count breakdown level. Its next area of resistance, though, I would have to say would be 18, 18,697. That is the center of its bullish structured profile. That's what's going on on a 30-minute time frame. Let's take a look at the 60-minute uh, chart out here. The 60-minute chart, did it break through? Did it close below on an hourly basis, that uh, bottom from this morning? Let's go find out. That low out there would be 18,659, right? 18,6, just make sure. 18,657.75 is the uh, number. So I wonder if I grabbed the wrong number. 
uh, when I looked at that. In any event, out here, if we take a look at what the NQ has done on a 60-minute time frame. The close of this hourly bar here was at 18.658.50, and that was a test and rejection because that was 18.657.75 out there. Uh, but that's that area is still being tested. Um, but it still has a buy the D point pattern. As long as price closes back above that low, it still retains its buy the D point pattern. Um, so you kind of get the gist out here. You can see there's a TD nine count pattern that's now going to get triggered at 2 p.m. on the five hour NQ out there. Bar number nine will complete then. It says at the end of the day, you should get a completed TD nine count pattern for it. But right now, I'd be focused on the other intraday charts for the NQ. Let's check out the. Uh, Let's check out the Dow, see what its chart patterns are telling us out here. They'll take a moment here for this to populate. So we're going to take a look at the Dow. We'll take a look at the Russell 2000. Then we'll start taking a look at instruments that have been requested. Baidu from yesterday came in late. We didn't get to that. AMC. We'll take a look at the gold contract, uh, BTC, then Mara and Harmony, HMY. So those are the requests that we've got in, and we'll go and we'll try to do that in that order. Now, in the case of the Dow Equity Future contract, not only did it close below its TD account breakout level yesterday, it's trading below it today as well. That's at 38,584. If we look at the five hour time frame chart, TD nine count bottom, in order for the Dow to truly get on its merry way to the downside, you need to see a five hour close below 38,140. Until then, you've got a TD nine count bottom there. Uh, it looks like it's trying to form a road momentum indicator bottom on the four hour time frame chart. You've got a TD nine count bottom that's going to go ahead and complete on the two hour chart at 12 noon. So another 38 minutes from now, you've already got a road momentum indicator bottom pattern on the 60 minute time frame chart. So the Dow is signaling to you and I that it would like to rally. At least that's what I see at this stage here. The key level inside of the Dow. There'd really be a couple of them. The first one would be at 38,273. That's on a rally. That's its 30 minute TD9 count breakdown resistance level. That was tested this morning at uh, between 10 and 10.30. So if price is able to close above that on a 30 minute basis, that'll tell you that there's some shift or some character change inside of the market out there. Once you get above 38,278, uh, you've got 38,326. And 38,326 is the top of the two hour time frame profile out there. And if price can get above 38,326 out there, you're probably headed to uh, 38,382. Those would be the numbers. How about to the downside in the Dow? Well, in the case of the Dow, if we head to the downside, we're already trading inside its swing point from April the 19th. And so one would presume yesterday you had a rejection of that level. In order to get a rejection, you need to see a close today above 38,344. If price closes inside there, well, then what we're taking a look at is perhaps a test of the low. And that low is down to 37,463. Um, let's take a quick peek out here. What else do we have to take a look at? I don't know that there's really much more for me to provide for you on the Dow Equity Future contract. Let's go take a look at the winner, winner, chicken dinner. And that's Russell 2000. Let's go see what it is communicating to us. Uh, it's the one that's had the biggest rally. Now, this is trading into, uh, while these charts here are popular, I can at least narrate what's going on. And that is this. On a daily time frame, a price closed below the bottom of its profile yesterday. And uh, in the bottom of that profile on a daily basis is 2059. You can see that as you take a look at the chart. Now, now I've got two different sets of profile. The support levels always has been the same at 2059. The resistance area to be watching right now is 2068. If price is able to close above 2068, we should see a move up to 2077, and then above that, you can see a rally up to the 2100 dollar area out there. Let's go out to our first caller. It is Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great, Steve. How are you? Excellent. Thanks so much for asking. Ticker symbol U, is that what we're going to take a look at? Yeah, I've got two I'm hoping you can look at. It's just sure. you know, kind of do a quick analysis. Yeah. I've been looking around. I'm surprised that I've, I've been finding quite a few stocks. I mean, considering where the market's at that are at 52 week lows and, and maybe even lower, but I mean, at least 52 week lows. And uh, this was one of them. And then I also have one other that I, uh, I'm starting some positions in them. And I, I think the main thing I have on these are some TD counts, but I'd just like you to take a look at them if you, if you could and see what you have. 
Absolutely, absolutely. So um, the the reason that I believe that you're seeing so many uh, instruments at the uh, at 52 week lows uh, at lows out there, in you know I, I've got the Dow chart up here. Really, let me just change this over to the uh, NQ or the ES Mini, whichever one pops up. Here's the NQ. If we take a look at it, and we and we talked about this, I believe we talked about this yesterday, but if not, my apology. If we take a look at the equal weighted ETF, that's the very right hand panel here. You can see how this is traded much lower than the weighted ETF, the QQQs. So the issue inside the markets is not, let's say, the top ten or top eight instruments inside of the Dow Diamonds, inside of the although the Dow Diamonds might have some problems though today, uh, inside of the S and P 500, the NDX is the weighted ones are holding up. But we're going to come back to a break here. What was the second instrument so that I can get that set up as well, Brent? And then we come back to the break. We'll take a look at both of those. It's uh, Teladoc, so T Doc. T Doc. Okay. Great. Perfect. Okay, so we'll get to T Doc. And uh, as soon as we get back from this break, as well as you, we'll be right back. Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Tigers, you've seen a show, you've learned from his webinars, and now it's time to trade side by side with him. Join Larry Pesavento for the second month of his new service, Live Trading Fridays. Hosted in the Tiger's Den trading room on Discord, Larry has analyzed a number of commodities and indices, placed profitable trades, and explained his method. Whether you're new to trading or are a seasoned market veteran, trading side by side with a titan like Larry Pesavento will only enhance your game. Utilizing Fibonacci retracements and ABCD structures, Larry provides decades of insight into when to place trades, when to exit, when to ignore, and so much more. Learning is doing. So if you're serious about learning technical analysis and becoming profitable in this uncertain market, Live Trading Fridays is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Live Trading Fridays occur every second and fourth Friday of the month, so trading events for this month are May 10th and 24th. If you're serious about trading, we'll see you there. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day, 
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. We're on the uh, line with Brent in Martinez, California. We're taking a look at Unity Software, which is not feeling the love. And when I say not feeling the love, it's at uh, made a new all-time low yesterday out there. So there are very few people in this trade at this stage here that are uh, making any kind of money. But on a daily time frame, Brent, today we'll go ahead and confirm a TD9 count bottom. That pattern will go ahead and complete tomorrow. The low can take place on uh, bar, the bar following bar number nine. So you should at least get some type of rally. That rally, the first place of resistance on a rally after this TD9 count bottom comes to completion would be its oscillator and change line for its daily time frame. And at the moment, that's at 1946. When I look at the weekly time frame chart, albeit not with volume, and when I say albeit not with volume, the swing point that price has taken out is from the week of November 10th. The volume on that session was 114 million shares. We haven't even got close to that kind of volume, but price is still below that. B point, so it has an A to B equal CD to downside with an initial price projection of 1566. The monthly chart, this has only been trading since uh, 2021. There's not a ton of data out here, but the data that we do have shows that we're at new all time lows, shows us that we are trading below profile support. So it's the daily right now that would give you the message whether it wants to go, at least go complete that A to B equal CD pattern uh, down at the 1566 level. Of course, it can get lower than that. I'm not paying attention to that wave number seven signal that shows up on my weekly chart. Uh, that's not that's not a real count at this stage here to be paying attention to. So that's what I see, Brent, when I take a look at Unity software. Why doesn't anybody love this stock? What are they doing? What are they not doing? <laughs> I'm trying to give us some love, at least a little I, bit. I know <laughs> you are, and, I, and I'm trying to help you. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I think what you do here – like you, like you typically do, if you see something that's got a bottom, sometimes you'll go ahead and dial down to a real intraday chart. So, for example, on a 30-minute time frame chart, this does have a bottom signal, Rhodes Mintum Indicator bottom. It did try to break out by closing above its bear structured profile at 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. But then this morning, it got right back inside that profile. So it hasn't really proven itself. I also know that you use shorter-term time frames, 10, 5-minute, and so forth. So let's just put up the 5-minute chart, see if there's anything here to help us. And this formed a TD9 count top, and it did that at uh, six, uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. So that identified a, a top. And now you just have price trading with inside of profiles out there. So lastly, let me just put a 15-minute chart up here, see if there's anything there. There really isn't. So I, I guess I would say, I wouldn't guess, I would say that the 30-minute time frame chart is probably your key area to be watching if this thing is going to rally, if that TD9 count is going to take hold today. In other words, it won't make a lower low tomorrow. Then you should see this start trading above 1864 for at least two consecutive bars. Now, that's a profile that's in place at this point in time. That could always change. But right now, that's the information that I've got. Any questions here or anything else that I can put up for you on Unity Software? No, that's great, Steve. Thank you very much. All right, so let's go ahead and let's put up uh, the other one, which is Teladoc. TDOC is the uh, ticker symbol. And uh, while this is getting ready to populate here, I see that today is likely going to become bar number eight um, as we speak. But it's really got a Rhodes Mentum indicator signal. But this is showing some promise as we speak right now. Now, there's actually a new profile. Let me see if I can. It's not showing up yet on this screen, but let me do something here. Let me make a quick change because I think there's a setting out here that's waiting for the bar to close. Yeah, most certainly it was. Now we'll see that new profile out here. So you've got some buyers in this instrument that are at your back and they're $11.18. You'd love to see price close above the center of this bullish structured profile and that's at 11.37. If Teladoc closes above 11.37 today, that would suggest to me that price should go target resistance, which on a daily time frame is at 11.37. 73. If we open up the weekly time frame chart, the weekly shows that it is likely to form a TD9 count bottom pattern uh, tomorrow. All that it needs to do, and it seems likely that it will do that, but you never know. It just simply needs to close below 1278. So that's what you're looking for there. You would have a, a weekly uh, TD9 count bottom. Of course, it can be the bar following bar number nine. 
but uh, you know, between the daily time frame chart and the weekly TD9 count bottom, likely it's try it's trying to take hold out here. Of course, the confirmation of that would be a move above 1173. Brent, was there a price target or area on Teladoc that you were looking at? Or you were looking at this going against something else, or is this also a, is, does this also have no love? Is this, oh <laughs> I did like goodness. this one better out of the two, just because of the TD counts that that were present. So that's uh, I, I'm just doing options on these, and it's not a lot of money that's you know being put up to to do the trade. So I, I'm comfortable doing it. Okay, so on the monthly, you got wave number seven. That's what's in it right now. It needs a higher low come next month to confirm that pattern. We talked about the weekly TD9 count, and it's attempting to form a Rogement indicator bottom. So uh, this uh, this has just a, a skosh more love than Unity Software, but it does have those bottoming patterns out there. So, uh, Brent, is there anything else that I can provide for you? No, that's great, Steve. You always come through, as always. But I appreciate I your help. That's right. You bet. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on these. I, I think out of the two, this one has the, the better potential, but we'll see, see what yeah. happens with the, each one of them. Short term, it's got a 30-minute road to indicator bottom, and if price can close above 11.38 for two consecutive sessions, a move up to the 11.65 area would be its next uh, price target. So, Brent, always good to hear from you. Thanks so much for calling, and I'll look forward to your next call. All right. Well, thanks for uh, doing the two first, Steve, and just have yourself a great day. You bet. My pleasure. My pleasure. Uh, so, folks, I don't remember exactly where I was. Uh, not unusual uh, when uh, Brent did call. So I'm just going to go on to the requests that have come in, and maybe uh, my mind will remember where we were at. But let's go take a look at Baidu. This is for Nicholas. This came in yesterday. Now, uh, with Brent, we're talking about things that are making bottoms out here. Baidu is going to go ahead and form a TD9 count bottom today. That pattern will complete tomorrow. I don't know whether it's yesterday's low that's going to be the low of the pattern or not. Um, but we should see a bottom that takes place by tomorrow, by Friday. Um, price and the reason why I don't know is because price is forming that pattern and it's in between it's below the support of its daily profile and it's above the support of its TD neck out breakout level so I don't really know we'd have to look at some intraday charts out there the weekly time frame is trading below profile support but what it's doing is trading into a swing point this is a shortened trading week from April 19th the volume there was 14 million shares so far the week you're at 6 million shares a daily basis yesterday you did uh, 2 million shares the day before that was uh, 3 million shares. So it looks like it's going to reject that swing point uh, with lighter volume, even if you just extrapolate out a four-day week to a five-day week out there. That is as long as price closes above 98.70. We're at 98.52 as we speak, right? Let me make sure I gave you the right number. Yeah, 98.70. On a monthly time frame, Right now, price is testing profile support. It's a strong support level at 98.54. I say strong support level because it is a bullish structured monthly profile. So Baidu should form a bottom out there. If we take a quick peek before we go to this break, out here, 65 minute time frame chart has a road momentum indicator bottom. What's the 30 minute chart out here? 30 minute chart has a road momentum indicator bottom. So you may want to go ahead and start a position in this, Nicholas. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. We take a look at the charts here for AMC. Nicholas wrote in this morning, would like to take a look at it. Um, you know, it does uh, follow along with chart patterns out here. What I'm referring to is on a daily time frame, this formed a uh, Rhodes momentum indicator and wave number seven bottom. So it did a Stevie and a Basel bottom on April the uh, 16th out there. And then we saw that crazy rally that took price all the way up towards the $12 level, and it has fallen since. So right now, what you've got, uh, Nicholas, is prices is back below its daily oscillator and change line. It has lost its momentum. That suggests that price may pull back to its next level of support. And that would be down at about the $3.43 level. Before it gets there, maybe it finds support at 389 That would be the top of the weekly profile. And that's about all that I see out here with regard to AMC. So of the two stocks that you gave me, this one, not so much. The last one looked better. Let's go take a gold for pearls inside the tiger's den. We'll get to that set of charts here, the multi-time frame charts, see what Goldilocks is doing. It is trading with inside its daily profile, at least it's testing daily profile support out there. That's it. Uh, I'll just simply open up that daily chart. So we take a look at it. Uh, the uh, profile level of support. It's a new profile formed yesterday. The low out there is 2361 and the high is 2400. Remember, this profile formed within the prior profile. That suggests that we should see some type of consolidation uh, take place out here. Now, I don't know whether that consolidation with inside the profile levels, whether it's between the prior high and the TD9 count breakout level at 2322, but it is suggesting a consolidation more than a breakout or a breakdown, but time will tell. That's the the message at least from the daily time frame chart the weekly time frame chart has a roads momentum indicator top that formed last week it has a td9 count top that formed back in the trading week of april the 12th out there and we have a good old-fashioned consolidation with inside its profile where's that consolidation that's between 22.99 and 24.71 on a 30-minute time frame chart td9 count top formed it completed that pattern as we were uh, about 15 minutes ago at 11.30. Its price target would be really where it's at right now. That would be the first price target at 23.63. 
23.6220 is the oscillator and change line. If price were to close below that, then we'd be looking at a move back towards 23.57 or 23.53 out there. If we go down to some of the shorter term time frames, on the five hour time frame chart out there, it's trying to form a road momentum indicator bottom pattern. It's taking on resistance. The level here to be watching is that resistance level, the top of its profile, 23.6890. Uh, four hour time frame chart does have a road momentum indicator bottom. That says if price can close above 23.7230, we should see a further rally. That next re resistance level would be up at 23.8430. So that's what I see with regard to gold. We got a number of bottoming patterns out here for the intraday time periods and daily holding profile support out there. So, Pearls, I hope that provided you with the information you were looking for. Let's go out to Ron and speak with uh, uh, Ron. Let's go out to Denver and speak with Ron. Or we can go out to Ron and speak with Denver, whichever you'd like. But Ron, how are you doing? And thanks for calling. Uh, great, Steve. Uh, Good. The reason I was calling was about this gorilla, G-R-R-R. -R -R. I was in uh, it. They did a, they, the management pulled the fast one. They did a 10 for one reverse split and knocked it down about 30%. Can you, um, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I did. I just want to make so, sure that. Uh, anyway, it's uh, now starting to come back. And I just wondered what your thoughts were on looking at the chart. On yeah, so I'm trying to, there we go. Okay, so I was able to get my charts to uh, convert it for that reverse split. So here's what the charts are telling us right now. Uh, I'm going to open up the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I don't so much have a bottom pattern. Well, I take that back. What price did, so it's breakout level. Uh, the breakout actually took place or began on the day of January 29, 2024. And that set up a TD9 count. That's what identified the high out there when it got up to that $12 or $13 mark out there. And then since then, prices moved lower. Where price found support was at that breakout level of 487. It found that support level was tested and rejected back on April 26. And now what we've had is really kind of a sideways ish type move out there. So that's the level. So let's go ahead and draw in the sideways consolidation pattern because that's what sticks out to me as we speak and it's going to be something that's really trying to run in essence into the top of that consolidation now I would actually move the top down a bit because that level really be down more like this so we're really right in the top of that consolidation now Ron if we get a consolidation breakout pattern and what I would really use to confirm that consolidation breakout pattern is not what I've drawn in here, but it would be a close above the high from April 23rd. And that high is at 649. If we get a close above that, then that what's that going to signal to you and I is we should see a move up towards 799. And 799 is the center of its bullish structure profile. It's also approximately the one-to-one -one, um, uh, measure, uh, measured move of that consolidation pattern. So it looks to me like that's where things want to head to. But I think the confirmation of that run would get to be a close above that April 23rd high. That's a swing point, and that would be at the $6.49. Now, before I move on to anything else, any questions about what I've shared thus far? No, it's very clear, and I appreciate that. I'll, okay. I'll walk, okay. look for that 649 level, and uh, things seem uh, to be improving, certainly improving, so it looks like we might challenge that soon. Yeah, and the weekly and monthly charts, just because of the way this thing has traded or what have you, they're really somewhat useless to me, so I'm not going to really focus on that. The only thing that I can focus on other than what we've taken a look at is let's look at its consecutive moves to the upside and to the downside. Looks like we are in bar number four today. Last time we got up to bar number four, Ron, was on May the 2nd of consecutive moves higher, and then we saw price actually pull back. So what I'm going to suggest to you um, since that's another pattern to pay attention to, is even if we did close above that level that I gave to you, hold off for a day. See whether this thing, you know, reverses course. Now, it would be a really bullish signal or it would be a bullish signal if you get a five-day consecutive move to the upside. Typically, once you break four in either direction, that tells you about what its intent is. Uh, out there. So today's going to be bar number four. You got the consolidation pattern. I'd wait just to make sure because maybe you still want to enter this thing and you can do it after a two day pullback out there. So that's what I see on Gorilla, G R R R. Uh, Ron, is there anything else that I can do for you? No, that's fantastic. Super. Thank you for your time. My pleasure as always, and uh, thank you so much for your call. Let's go take a look at uh, Bitcoin. This is for Dude Inside the Tiger's Den. 
and uh, do what I pulled up or what I created was the uh, I think we still or still may be trading in the May contract, but it's got to switch over to June here momentarily. So I've got the June contract up with the exception being the monthly and the weekly. So let's just focus in on the daily. The June contract for the daily time frame shows nothing more than a consolidation with inside its profile. So support is 65,101 resistance up at 71,653 out there. But even if price closed above 71,653, this has a sell the D point pattern. And therefore, price needs to close above the high of that pattern. That's a trading day of May 21st. And that is at 72,745. So if price can close above that, you're on your merry way to the upside. On a 30 minute time frame chart, you formed a TD nine count top. It did it at 1030 this morning. Price pulled back and tested and rejected that green oscillator and change line. It is neutral signal on that. Uh, what else do I see out here? I don't see much else that sticks out to Stevie at this moment in time. A key level on the weekly chart. If price can close above its oscillator and change line like it did last week, and that number is at 69,655. If it closes above that tomorrow, odds favor tries to revisit its recent highs. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We come back. We'll take a look at MARA, Harmony, and Triple D. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back. We're 
we take a look at the Mara, M-A-R-A, that is Marathon Digital. What I see out here, dude, is I see on the daily time frame, I see price trading inside a rising price channel. For all three time frames, price is consolidating with inside profiles. Daily support, 1741. Daily resistance, 2286. Weekly support, 1710. Weekly resistance, 3031. Monthly support, 985. Monthly resistance, 3140. So that's what I see out there, a consolidation, but it is on the daily time frame, a series of uh, higher highs and higher lows out there. Let's go take a look at Harmony for Sandy and HMY. HMY, what I see this doing yesterday, closed below the bottom of its bullish structured profile. At this stage here, it looks like it was a false breakdown. If it did close back below 915, Sandy, then we'd be looking to move to 863. Uh, since that is held at this stage here, maybe price is going to rally to 9.52. The weekly chart has roads meant to indicate top. Price has pulled back and tested so far and successfully rejected that green oscillator and change line. It is neutral. The monthly chart will go ahead and confirm a bar number eight. That says you could see a TD9 count that takes place between this month and the next two out there. I hope that helps you out, Sandy. Dan wanted to take a look at uh, Triple D, the uh, 3D maker out there. What do we see here? Dan, on a daily time frame, I see price trading with inside its profile. Support at 339, resists at 378. If it did close about 378, it could tra trigger a move up towards that resistance level, which was tested at 444. That was a TD9 count breakdown resistance. No signal suggesting it's going to do that just yet but if it does get a consolidation breakout then the answer could be yes out there weekly consolidation with inside his profile no bottom signal that i see out there and the same thing true on the monthly time frame chart although i'd see wave number seven uh that is out there uh, lastly let's take a look at acn this is accenture inc out here and the question is do i see any kind of a bottom and the answer is i don't right now you've got a price trading below its weekly breakout level 289.66 i don't see a bottom signal i do have wave number seven on the daily time frame so maybe if you get a higher load that would be the pattern out there on a monthly basis we're trading below profile support um i mean i see a rising trend line that is out there that it's up against but uh, so watch that wave number seven that's the only signal that i see that could identify a bottom folks have a terrific thursday i'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow 11 a.m sharp on fantastic and fabulous friday take care and be safe out there